Hello, I'm Jordan, you're not, and this is my review on Creed, which is the seventh film in the Rocky series and starting its own spin-off series. Maybe. So I recently got the Rocky movies all on Blu-ray. Yeah. Okay, so this is roughly nine years after the events of the sixth film, Rocky Balboa. So Creed is the, uh, well, his name is Adonis Johnson, played by Michael B. Jordan. So there's going to be some spoilers in this review. This movie was really well made. I'm not going to lie. This was a great installment in the Rocky series. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even a sports fan. You know, I don't care about boxing or wrestling or football or basketball, golf, or any of that stuff. But when it comes to movies, if it's like sports and movies, then I'll watch it. Because I'm a crazy movie guy. And, you know, Creed is definitely a worthy installment or a new great film. Like, I'm going to, this is a raving, this is a raving review of it. Yeah, and, you know, I thought, you know, maybe Sylvester Stallone wouldn't be in it as much. And it's supposed to be about, you know, uh, well, I'm going to call him Donnie. They call him Donnie. So it is Donnie's story about him coming to terms with who he, who he, he is. And, you know, I thought it would be more about him. But, you know, Rocky, he is, he has a good amount of screen time. Because it does feel like Rocky Seven. This is what Rocky Five should have been, but it was terrible. So yeah, did I hear to say there's gonna be spoilers? Yeah, there's gonna be spoilers in this one. So Rocky's character, he's really kind of depressing in this movie. I I cried a couple of times. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I I'll, I'm man enough to admit that I cried. I was blubbering like a berber. So yeah, because. Not only not only is Adrian gone, you know, Adrian was the love of Rocky's life. You know, she she's been she died somewhere in between Rocky five and six. Now Paulie's gone too. That was like Rocky's probably his best friend, even though they kinda didn't get along for the first two or three movies. And then he go yeah, he goes and visits their their gravestone and he just you know, he talks to them and that that is really depressing because you know, if you watch all the other Rocky movies, I mean, that that was like that, that were Rocky's only, fr you know, friends, you know, his and, and his wife, you know, Adrian and Polly and Apollo Creed. They were. It seemed like you know this movie, the series got really depressing all of a sudden. But in the end, you know, it is kind of uplifting and it's, you know, kind of, you know, it kind of brings it back, you know, to what am I talking about? I don't know. All right, so. If we start off in the year 1998, we see this little boy named, his name is Adonis, Adonis Johnson, and he's getting into, he's in like a juvenile center because he keeps getting into fights with kids, and then we meet, um, again, um, Apollo Creed's wife, uh, Mary Ann, I believe is her name, but she's played by a different actor. She's played by um, the lady that was in the Cosby show who played Mrs. Huxtable. I can't think of her name in real life. I didn't. I didn't think to look it up. I'm sorry, but yeah, seems like she's she's always played by a different actress, though. But well, I mean that that doesn't matter. Anyway, I mean you know, seems like all the all the kids that played uh, Rocky's son Robert or well, Rocky Jr. They were all played by different kids too, and like all the you know Rusty and Audrey, you know, and Griswold were always played by different kids in the Vacation movie. So whatever. So then we fast forward to present day, 2015. And uh, Donnie is getting himself into, you know, boxing fights like down in, you know, Tijuana, Mexico. Just, you know, just just for the sake of fighting because, you know, fighting's in his blood, I guess. You know, he just, you know, because Apollo Creed is, you know, his dad. But then, you know, he he, he realizes that he wants to go on this, this path of fighting. He wants to have a name for himself. He doesn't want to be listed as, oh, Apollo Creed's son. If this was Game of Thrones, it would be... Oh, that's Apollo Creed's bastard. You know, like seem like you know, like like Jon Snow, like you know, that's you know, with um, Ned Stark and you know, it's, it's like people will go. If this was like Game of Thrones, people would go around. Oh, yeah, it's Apollo Creed's bastard over there, with those snobby, snobby English accents, you bastard. But yeah, he wants to make you know, he wants to be Adonis Johnson because you know he wants to have his his own legacy. But then you know he realizes he he needs to he needs to move away, so he moves to Philadelphia, which is where Philadelphia's favorite son Rocky Balboa lives. 
and they show the Rocky statue. You know, in the last movie, they said that they uh, they moved Rocky's statue from those those stairs that he's always running up to another place, and they show that he goes by and, and he sees it. So Rocky is still working at you know Adrian's restaurant. You know, he has his restaurant there, and there's no mention of Little Marie or Steps or his his new friends that he made in the last film. You know, the last film, you know, we thought he was depressed, and we had, you know, these new characters, you know, he thought, oh, he has a family and friends again, but now they're gone. So now he's depressed again. So maybe he's going to make some new friends again, hopefully. So Donnie asks Rocky to help train him, just kind of be a better boxer. And originally, you know, Rocky says, no, no, he doesn't want to do it. He wants nothing to do with boxing anymore, pretty, pretty much. Then you know he's you know he goes around he shows he's looking at pictures of his I'm almost looking around my room like he's looking at he sees pictures of Rocky and his father Apollo fighting and you know he you know he even talks about the uh, the third fight that Rocky and Apollo had at the end of Rocky three and this one we we finally find out who wins that fight I'm not going to tell you who it is though but it is pretty interesting that we finally find out who wins that fight. So eventually, you know, Rocky gives in, you know, he sees that, you know, this Donnie is Apollo's son, his bastard. And then, you know, he helps him, helps train him. Then Donnie meets this uh, this lady, her name's uh, Bianca, she's a lounge singer at this place. You know, they, you know, she, she's pretty, but, you know, and then, so they, they fall in love, you know, because she, Bianca's the new Adrian for Donnie, I guess. And she has, uh, she's slowly getting hearing loss. Like, she has, like, these hear, hearing aids in her ears. Because she, you know, she has her music up really loud and she can't hear. So, then, um, Donnie has a, he gets word that he, uh, this uh, guy from England, his name is Ricky Conlon, pretty Ricky Conlon. He, you know, he wants to box, he wants to box someone, he wants to fight someone. So they, and then because, because of, that he, we find out that someone leaked information that uh, Don Donnie is actually Apollo Creed's real son, but it wasn't Rocky. Rocky didn't narc on him because Rocky was supposed to keep that secret. And the relationship between Rocky and Donnie, it's really, it's really beautiful. It's really powerful. It's probably one of the greatest friendships in the whole Rocky series. A really powerful, you know, friendship like an uncle nephew friend relationship or almost a father son relationship because because you know he's. Donnie never, never really had a dad, and that's probably the closest father figure that, you know, Rocky's probably the closest father figure that he's ever had in those, these days that he helps him train him. And that's really, that was beautiful. I loved that. that. They had a good chemistry together. But then we sadly see that Rocky is slowly getting sick. That's, that's when the, the feels will start to kick in. That's when you get sad and depressed, and, and you'll start to cry because... Rocky is on the verge, almost on the verge of death. But then, you know, Donnie finds out and he says, hey, if I'm going to fight, you got to fight. So that was, that was a really, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's such a nice friendship. I love that. So, you know, his friendship with Donnie and Bianca, they all become like best friends, almost like almost family now. You know, Rocky has this new group of, you know, you know, it, it gives Rocky a new reason to live, basically, because he, Rocky, he didn't want treatment. He kind of wants to die so he can be with Adrian again in the afterlife. <clears throat> so then, you know, it's the big fight between Donnie and Ricky Conlon, pretty Ricky. And then there, there's a scene in there, well, like, when they get to the final round, that's when they played some of the original Rocky music, and that, that was awesome. I was like the whole 30 minutes. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. But just know that this was a great movie. Okay, and I give this an A plus. And as to whether Rocky lives or dies or not, I'm just gonna say that I cried the last 30 minutes of the movie. That's all I'm gonna tell you. That's all I'm gonna say, is that the last 30 minutes of the movie I was in tears. So this is definitely gonna. This to me, this is definitely one of the best movies of 2015. Go see it. If you're a Rocky fan, you're gonna love it. I promise. And if I do a, a let's see, a, the best movies of 2015, this movie is definitely going to be in there. And hopefully this will start a new series of films. of like Creed 2, Creed 3, Creed 4, Creed 5, Adonis Johnson Creed, which would be like the sixth from that. So yeah, go check it out.